Meet Dobby, a three-month-old Pomeranian mix. He was adopted by his parents, Liz Honest and Ryan Brinks, last week from the Animal Foundation. First kennel we walked into, we see this little guy and just love at first sight, for sure. Dobby is a young, energetic, and all-around well-behaved puppy. His parents are overjoyed to have him, especially knowing they adopted him from a shelter. But not all dogs are as lucky as Dobby. Many dogs are waiting to be adopted at animal shelters, but also puppy mills. Shelters may have a stereotype of being cruel to animals, but puppy mills are worse. Holly Haley, Nevada State Director of the Humane Society, says puppy mills are commonly the providers of puppies for pet stores in America. When you see that cute little puppy in the pet store, you often don't know the cruelty behind that cuteness. And that is exactly what puppy mills do. According to the ASPCA, a puppy mill is roughly defined as, quote, a large-scale commercial dog breeding operation where profit is given priority over the well-being of the dogs. Animal rights activists say puppy mills can produce more than 2,000 puppies a week, supplying the vast majority of dogs to pet stores. Under those conditions, the animals are kept in unethical states, subjecting them to disease, starvation, and sometimes cannibalism. The cages are often stacked, so fecal material will fall from one to another, and not only <laughs> infecting the, the dog below, but it can get in their food, and it's not just a large-scale breeding operation for puppies, but it also breeds disease and cruelty runs rampant. The kennels in an animal shelter can sometimes represent prison cells with metal beams and thick glass, but the kennels in an animal shelter are far more humane and conducive for animals who are looking to be adopted than those held in puppy mills. Honest and Brink are glad they chose to adopt through the Animal Foundation than purchasing from a pet store. It's sad. It's horrible. Yeah, and it just it kind of reaffirmed and like made us feel better about getting the dog at From the, the shelter. shelter. Yeah. It kind of yeah, just like kind of just um affirmation of just making the right decision for sure. And Dobby could not be happier. He has a large backyard to run around in, toys to chew on, food to eat, and constant attention and love from his parents. These are the conditions puppies should be raised in. Dobby may not have been a puppy mill victim, but he was a shelter dog, and there are many dogs like Dobby who are needing a home. Reporting for Studio G, I'm Elena Ledbetter.